and violence and other kind of violence. Following the investigation, what exactly are you learning tonight? What's the latest information? So, Don, well, as you mentioned, police did release surveillance video of a third suspect they're looking for. They say he's armed and dangerous, and they're asking for the public's help finding him. According to a source, investigators believe the young man in this video opened fire on South Street Saturday night using a 40 caliber weapon that may have killed innocent bystander Alexis Quinn. While the investigation continues, Mayor Kenny and Commissioner Outlaw publicly toured South Street, talking with business owners about safety concerns. What the takeaway was for us specifically is that we need to do more uh, collectively to address the smaller, the smaller quality of life issues before they turn into something larger. That means actively addressing disorderly conduct, clearing sidewalks, moving crowds like the ones we saw Saturday night. Mayor Kenny shared some of the feedback. Just that the crowds are large and um, they're difficult to manage uh, and um, they're not always responsive to police requests. So we have to figure out a strategy to do that. It's concerning because, like I said, I don't even want to walk down the street. Linda Clinton says she has lived in the Queen Village neighborhood for 30 years. It's just been getting worse. She has a couple of safety requests. Guns off the street, uh, curfew for sure. We need more police around here. Alice Sobzak works in the area and says emotions are high right now. Everybody's just confused and scared and it's just really, really unfortunate. And in addition to the suspect seen in that surveillance video, police say there is at least one more shooter at large. If you have any information, you are asked to call the police tip line 215-686-8477. There is a $30,000 reward in this case. Don. You are watching Action News streaming live at 630. It is a Tuesday night. I'm Gray Hall, and we begin with new details just in about that South Street mass shooting. Philadelphia police have released this photo of a third suspect wanted in connection Action with a shooting that killed three and left 11 others with gunshot injuries on Saturday night. They also released several surveillance videos of the individual they are looking for. The man has not yet been identified. Two other suspected gunmen are already in custody. This all coming as Mayor Jim Kinney and Police Commissioner Danielle Outlaw walking South Street today and talking with concerned businesses. Action News reporter Maggie Kent has more on their response. Mayor Jim Kenney, followed by Police Commissioner Danielle Outlaw, walks South Street, stopping to talk to business owners impacted by rowdy crowds and violence. Ishka Bibbles on the 300 block of South Street closes three hours early now on Friday and Saturday. Because of a combination of a pandemic and also a recommendation from the police not to open too late. Saturday night's shooting incidents, which left three dead and 11 injured, is raising questions about safety for patrons and business owners. Well, State Representative Ahmed Brown says it's time to see closures of streets, much like we saw on Sunday, a state of emergency lasting two weeks to stop the violence. We always say enough is enough. So what does that look like? When are we going to start moving toward a solution? Mayor Kenny says stricter gun laws is the solution, not a declaration of emergency. But the district attorney's office says both men seen in this video shooting at each other were licensed to carry. Now you just have to ask for one. We used to have a situation where we had to do intensive background checks on people who wanted to carry concealed carry permits. Now uh, the courts told us we can't do that. Commissioner Danielle Outlaw says her department must work proactively. It is nipping other quality of life issues in the bud before it turns or blossoms into something larger. Police made zero quality of life arrests or citations Saturday night from 5 p.m. to 5 a.m. And police have just released this new surveillance video of the latest suspect that they're looking for in connection to this South Street shooting on Saturday night. They're asking anyone who may recognize them to give them an anonymous tip. In Queen Village, Maggie Kent, Channel 6 Action News. I'm here on the corner of MLK and Frederick Douglass where a shooting just took place. And as you can see, it's a pretty rough area. So I'm basically risking my life reporting on this madness. 
So make sure you do me a favor and hit the subscribe button. Like the video, hell, share the video. And make sure you go ahead and leave a comment down in the comment section to continue the discussion on how we can find solutions to all this sun violence in the streets. I'm Jen Quavius Jackson, here live, reporting from Atlanta, Georgia, BGZM News 17. Breaking news, a new search for a suspect wanted in connection to the deadly shootout on South Street as city leaders try to reassure concerned business owners. This is Eyewitness News at 6. We are streaming live on CBS News Philly. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jessica Cartalia. And I'm Natasha Brown in for Yuki today. Philadelphia police have just released a new photo of a suspect wanted in connection with this weekend's mass shooting. Let's get right to Eyewitness News anchor Joe Holden, who is live at South Street with the very latest on the search. Joe? Hi, Jessica and Natasha and Philadelphia police want us to share this photo montage with the public. Let's pull it up. They are hoping someone out there recognizes the individual on the screen. This is said to be the fourth shooter connected to all of the shots that were fired here on South Street on Saturday night. You can see in this photo some pretty clear identifying clothing. If you know any information, please call Philadelphia police. In the meantime, quite the show of accountability out here on South Street as people still reel from Saturday night. How did you guys find out about this? Surprise, reporters and cameras were on South Street as he and police commissioner Daniel Outlaw met with several business owners discussing safety concerns following Saturday's shooting. We saw that two shooters had permits, but they used their guns in different ways. The guns are falling out of the sky. And even if my expectation for somebody that has a permit is that they know how to properly use them and they use them within the containment of the law. 14 people were shot, three fatally on Saturday. The deadly explosion of violence has rattled neighbors and business owners and has placed the mayor front and center with questions can the city do more? Reporters first caught up with him at an unrelated event earlier Tuesday. We were prepared from a personnel standpoint with enough police to cover the events. Two guys with two guns decided to fight each other and shoot each other. That's, that's what happened. Police call what then unfolded on South Street contagious gunfire, where other shootings follow initial gunfire. Investigators so far have two alleged shooters in custody. They're searching for at least one more, a man believed to have been armed with a 40 caliber handgun. Meanwhile, heading into a busy summer season, police recruitment remains an issue, with the department struggling to fill vacancies. Too many guns on the streets is also a point well argued today. Councilman Mark Squilla adds police need more support. What can the police do? What can't they do? We need to make sure that we have their backs. We're expecting them to do certain things. Gang violence and other kind of violence. Get away! Get away! 